When we arrived in Malaysia four months ago, we had no idea what to expect from the food here. Coming from North America, Malaysian food is not something that you see around very often. Mm -hmm. You'll find Thai food and Vietnamese food and Japanese food, etc. Malaysian is not something that you find a lot of back in North America. The Malaysians themselves, they know what amazing cuisine that they have here, and we have been completely blown away. Absolutely blown away. By what we can find here in Malaysia. The varieties of food that you find from the Malay culture, the Indian culture, the Chinese culture, they all have their own distinct twist, and then there's this intermingling of all of them together that is absolutely phenomenal. So we wanted to take a few minutes to give you guys, if you're planning a visit to Malaysia, 15 dishes that you absolutely must try when you come to Malaysia. And keep in mind that this list is not in a particular order. It's not a ranking. It no. would be so hard to rank what is the best one. Um, but we are going to start out right now with a classic dessert. Chendal is a dessert and it's cool and it's sweet, it's refreshing, it's perfect for the hot humid weather here in Malaysia. Chendal is these long green rice noodles and they are flavored and colored with pandan and then it's served in a bowl with palm sugar, coconut milk, uh, shaved ice, and then a range of toppings, whatever you want on it. We've seen durian, we've seen red bean, we've seen corn, you can choose what you like. It's a perfect example of how Malaysia combines unique textures, ingredients, and flavors to create this beautiful little dish. The best one that we had while we were here in Malaysia was at Chendol Kampong Hulu in Malacca. Rojak. This traditional salad is like a flavor bomb in your mouth. It's got a mix of fruit and vegetables like cucumber, pineapple, bean sprouts, chilies, mango, and even tofu, all tossed in a spicy, sweet, and tangy sauce. The sauce is made from this killer combination of palm sugar, shrimp paste, tamarind, and then it's topped with peanuts. It's like a salad and a dessert, all mixed in one amazing snack. No two mouthfuls are ever the same. And the best one that we found here in Malaysia was at Kahaya Dinar in Malacca. Chicken rice is a quintessential Southeast Asian dish. It's super simple, but extremely satisfying. It's made with poached chicken uh, that's served alongside this fragrant rice that's been simmered in chicken broth and ginger. It's also served alongside a gorgeous chili sauce that gives a depth of flavor that's really hard to beat. It's one of those dishes that you'll find from street food stalls to high-end restaurants. It's perfect any time of day. Chicken rice is a true representation of the simplicity and deliciousness of the cuisine here in Malaysia. The best one that we tried was made by our friend Ken at Canton Z in Kuala Lumpur. Kaya toast is a breakfast dish here that's been made from lightly grilled toast and spread with what's called kaya. It's a coconut and egg mixture jam that they put all over the top of it and Usually it's gonna come with large amounts of butter. Often you'll find kaya toast served with a half-boiled egg on top. So you've got this gorgeous combination of runny egg yolk, crispy toast, sweet kaya jam, and the flavor is unbelievable. Wash it down with a local iced coffee or pulled tea and you've got a perfect breakfast. The best kaya toast we found in Malaysia was at Kobe Tom Sunwa in Ipoh. Nasi Lemak is a dish that you won't be able to miss here in Malaysia. It is absolutely everywhere. The simplest version starts with just coconut rice and then it has peanuts, anchovies, cucumber, and a beautiful spicy sambal sauce. The dish is often served with a side of protein such as fried chicken, grilled fish, or beef rendang. The combination of the fragrant rice and the spicy sambal make it a dish that's both comforting and satisfying. The best nasi lemak we tried in all of Malaysia was at Nelly's Deli in Ipoh. So good. So good. Curry devil. This is a dish you won't find all over Malaysia, but we were lucky enough to try it while we were in Malacca, where it may have originated due to the Portuguese influence. It's a spicy and flavorful curry made of chilies. Lots and lots of chilies. Lots of chilies, along with shallots, garlic, ginger, and a variety of spices. Curry Devil is known for its intense heat and its complex flavor profile. This one is gonna make you sweat a bit, but it's <laughs> worth every delicious spicy bite. 
We only had it one time, but Julie's version at Restaurant Lisbon in Malaga is sublime. To die for. Giant freshwater river prawns. Literally the biggest prawns we've ever seen ever. in our lives. Never seen something so big before. These things grow up to 30 centimeters long. Not only are they huge, but they have this gorgeous, delicate, and sweet meat that is perfect either simply steamed in the local Chinese wine or swimming in these sweet, savory, sour sauces of the region. Definitely seek these out on your trip to Malaysia. They are amazing. I gotta look at the screen to read you the name of this one here, but the best one that we had was when we were with Jason and Kane. The name of the place is Restaurant Makane Lawa Yao Ki in the town of Kampar in Parakstan. Golden tofu. So this is nothing like the tofu we would buy at the grocery store back home. Any place here that serves it is gonna have a very closely guarded secret recipe. You're gonna find it here in Chinese restaurants and it's often topped with like a gorgeous sauce of like ground pork or ground shrimp. The tofu has a crispy exterior coating on it and the inside of it is this creamy, custardy, wiggly tofu center and it's delicious. We're usually quite indifferent to tofu, but this is something that we've actually started seeking out on menus in our travels here in Malaysia. It's really that good. The best one that we had was at restaurant Makanan Lao Yao Ki, once again in Kampar in Parak State. Char Kway Tao is famous in Penang, and everybody here has an opinion on who has the best stall. This deceptively simple dish of rice noodles, soy sauce, eggs, bean sprouts, Chinese sausage, and a couple of shrimp is so much greater than the sum of its parts. It's filling and it's comforting and about two US dollars per plate, you could spend years searching the city for the best version. Our only regret with Char Kway Tao is that we waited to get to Penang to try it for the first time because you hear so much and the dish originated here in Penang. But the best one that we have found is right here, obviously, in Penang at Kadai Kopi Malabar. Roti Chennai has recently been named the world's top street food by Taste Atlas, and it is the perfect brunch food. Found at Indian food stalls in Malaysia, this flatbread has a flaky layered texture that comes from the dough being expertly stretched. Crisp on the outside, chewy soft inside slightly oily from the ghee on the griddle. It's served with savory sauces, gravy, or soup for dipping. This warm flat bread has to be eaten to be believed. It would be impossible to name a favorite place. Uh, this dish is amazing everywhere that we've tried it. And don't just stop at the roti chennai. Uh, you're gonna see different kinds of rotis all over menus here. Roti means bread. Uh, so we've had roti jala, roti talur, roti bakar, roti tissue. They're all amazing. Eat as many as you can. If there's one dish here in Malaysia that I feel like I didn't get a chance to eat enough of, it's this one, and that's asam pedas. Asam pedas is traditionally a Malay stew that literally translates to spicy sour. This fragrant broth is made with tamarind paste for the sour and tons of chilies for that spicy heat. Add some fish or beef tendon along with some okra and tomatoes into this spicy broth, serve it over rice, and you have one of the most deeply flavored dishes I've ever tried in my life. Just make sure that you can handle some heat before you place your order on this one. Best awesome pedas we had here in Malaysia was at Awesome Pedas Apak in Malacca. Mmm, that was good. Nasi Champur. It is steamed rice accompanied by this delicious array of sides and toppings. Fish, meats, savory complex sauces, beautifully executed vegetables, and sambal on the sides so you can adjust the spiciness yourself. Nasi Champur is known for its variety of textures and flavors, so it can be sweet, spicy, sour, everything all in one. It's literally a choose your own adventure style of meal, best of all worlds. Hands down, the best one you will find in all of Malaysia, I don't care what anybody says, is at Kuali's New Sintara Kitchen in Penang. Next up is a Chinese dish that is really popular here in Malaysia and Jeff drools just thinking about it. This is roasted pork in the styles of char siu and su yuk. I'm so hungry. 
Suyuk is a Cantonese dish made from pork belly that is marinated in a mixture of spices and then roasted until the skin is crispy and the meat is tender. Char Su is a type of Chinese barbecue pork that is marinated in a sweet and savory sauce then cooked over an open flame, resulting in a dish that is sweet, savory, and slightly charred. Even though this dish originates in Canton, China, those in the know here in Malaysia say it's better here because the quality of the ingredients in Malaysia can't be beat. And finally, Angela's favorite dish in all of Malaysia. I love it. Asam laksa. <laughs> it's a fiery, soury, and fishy noodle soup. The broth is made from a tamarind paste, so it gives it this tangy and sour taste with a hint of sweetness that helps balance out the spiciness. Throw in some thick rice noodles and fish flakes, and then top with pineapple, cucumber, and lettuce to add a fresh and crisp contrast. Finally, garnish with sweet and spicy chili paste and a sprinkle of chopped fresh mint and fried shallots for a truly mind-blowing depth of flavor and texture. It is perfection in a bowl and I literally cannot stop eating it. I order it everywhere. Everywhere she goes. And if you are looking for the best one that we have been able to find here in Malaysia, that would be at Kopitam Soon Wa in Ipo. Go see Jason and Kane. They're awesome. Amazing. Four months ago, we knew absolutely nothing about Malaysian food. As of right now, it jumps into my top five favorite cuisines in all the world. The flavors are bold, the textures are satisfying, and the variety is truly staggering. If you're a food lover, Malaysia is a destination not to be missed. It's truly a food lover's paradise. So we're off to get some lunch now. See you next week. Bye.